If you're feeling tired and your day's been a slog, just chill out and watch this vlog. <laughs> if you fancy it. So today, legends, I'm off to the Vitality Stadium, uh, the home of Bournemouth Football Club, and I'm going to see the Welsh wizard, Harry Wilson, a uh, top player, a uh, dead ball specialist. Um, and I want to talk to him about the secrets behind his free kicks because he scores some absolute worldies. Uh, so that leads to my question to you guys is, what's the best free kick you've ever seen? Um, I don't know if it's the best I've ever seen, but one, I really loved it was Alex um, against Arsenal for Chelsea. He just absolutely smashed it. Well, technically he wasn't very good, he just absolutely walloped it, but I think that's one of my favourites. But let me know uh, what your favourite is down below. And once again, I don't know I keep saying it, but I really do mean it. Thank you so much for your support. And um, if you do like the channel, uh, give us a subscribe. Cheers, Bournemouth, here we come! Also, we'd just like to say um, a massive thanks uh, to you guys. Um, we put a post up on our uh, community page the other day. It uh, was about uh, me being four years sober, come on. And um, we asked for your questions, because me and Big Ange are gonna do uh, a special uh, golf uh, piece where we answer some of your questions about uh, my addiction and my drinking and stuff like that. And uh, there's so many questions, so it's unbelievable. So we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be four years sober in, um, where is it, it's in May. So we'll probably do that in the next month or so and get it out for May, obviously. Um, but just wanna say thank you. And again, thanks for all the support and the positive messages. Uh, it's four years, I'm, I'm buzzing. And here we are, the Vitality Stadium. Beautiful. And here is the interview arena for today in the home changing room. Oh, if I can open it, whoops. Here we go, the boys. Tony Dunn. And the Scott ED. Where have you come back from this time, Scott? Jet lag? Uh, I've just come back from Miami. Miami. 10 days of Super Bowl madness. Oh. So I'm a little bit jaded today, so. Give us your best, best hot heart. I miss what? Hot heart. Hot heart? No, hot heart. That's what they say, oh. isn't it? <laughs> so Tony's going out to uh, States for the weekend. Yeah, up to Vegas first. Really? For a day. Yeah. And then LA. Wow. No, I You boys do do some traveling. Look at these for shin pads. Look at the size of these shin pads, my God. You've got to have the smallest shin in the world. <laughs> awesome. Go on the shin pads. Scotty, how big would your shin pads be? Uh, this is one of my shin pads. <laughs> That's one. I just need to find that one, I think it's in this box somewhere. There's that man, the Welsh magician. Look at this for a tunnel. All the players on the wall. There's Asmir, he's not here at the moment. Look at that. Ryan Fraser, the legend, Nathan Aki. Big Cy Francis. You come out here, and there it is. Unbelievable, Jeff. If we come in here, it's the little warm up room. It's where the boys get a massage before the big game, a couple of exercise bikes, and some Astro Turf to do some flick ups. Let's see what the away teams have to deal with. Be good if the lights came on. 
But let's have a look to see what the away teams have to deal with. Mm. Not so nice. Not so nice at all. But it shouldn't be for an away team, should it? Let's be honest. I'll probably make it worse than this. Showers look decent though. I'd have no problems there then. No hair dryer needed. And here it is, the dreaded ice bath. <laughs> Swear Eddie does his presses. Harry, good, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Um, on the way up in the car, I was talking about uh, you being a dead ball specialist mm. and unbelievable free kicks. What is the secret behind your free kicks? Uh, a lot of practice. I think uh, last last year when I was on loan in the champ championship, um, I found out that the mitre balls I could get quite a lot of movement on them. So that was a big, right. yeah, that was a big, uh, well, a big plus for me because I felt that the way I tried to hit them, I figured out that I could get movement on them. And I think the goal at United is a perfect example of the movement. <laughs> yeah, catching it sweet and. Yeah, and it, managing to go in, and I hit a couple throughout the season which didn't quite go in, which I've caught similar, but the keeper even made a good good save or they've just missed the tight target. So, yeah, that was the first step. And then coming into the Premier League, I actually found out that it was a lot harder to with the Premier League ball to get the movement that I wanted on them. Really? So, yeah, I felt I've had to change my te technique a little bit. The uh, free kick I scored early on in the season against City was more of like a, a whip free kick and the same with Spurs away. I have to go for like more more of a curler because I found I can't really do like the knuckleball technique with them as, as well as what I could with the mitre balls. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so. And I asked the guys at home, I said, what's the best free kick they've ever seen? Mm. Um, what's the best free kick you've ever seen? Uh, best one, I think, watching on the TV. I think I was watching Ronaldo's against Portsmouth maybe 10, 11 years ago. Yeah. I think that was the first time where I thought, wow, like, that's the first time I'd seen someone strike a ball the way he did, yeah. so close to get the dip, the movement, and the goalkeeper had no chance with it and so that was the first time I really th looked at a free kick and thought like wow that's that's unbelievable and yeah maybe that was what got me into trying to do straight in the technique. back garden yeah, yeah straight, straight in the back, back garden exactly yeah my next door neighbour trying to practice that uh, free free kick style and I'm sure there's many more in the UK that did as well love it mate thank you so much cheers. thank you cool cheers the Welsh wizard oh, what a man <laughs> how was the interview Harry how did I do yeah, the questions are top. <laughs> I, felt, I felt the answers were good as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> we had quite a good partnership. Yeah, and apparently you've got a really good singing voice, I hear. <laughs> no, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> okay, so you straight in then. Uh, Bournemouth is the only club in the Premier League to have uh, their ground and their training ground in the same campus. There's the ground, there, and over there is the training ground. Oh, just a little bit of knowledge for you. So that was the end of the Bournemouth vlog. Uh, thanks so much to Anthony and Bournemouth for having me. Unbelievable club and Harry Wilson, what a legend. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers.